Okay, so um, I had a realtor, realtor uh, ask me today uh, about how long you have to be on title to be uh, eligible for a refinance. Sometimes this is a cash purchase and you, you're purchasing this, you're fixing it up, you're getting it ready, and then you're doing a cash out refinance, um, even though it's not a refinance, but in the case it, it is a refinance, how long do you need to be on title before you can do a cash out? So here's the answer to that question. Limited cash out refinance transactions. The continuity, the continuity of obligation policy that requires lenders to confirm at least one of the borrowers on a refinance transaction was also a borrower on the prior mortgage specified a number, a minimum number of months a borrower needed to be on title and indicated an LTV, CLTV, HCLTV ratio restrictions for limited eligibility was eliminated in its entirety as of 2016, February of 2016. A short-term refinance mortgage loan that combines a first mortgage and a non-purchase money subordinate mortgage into a new first mortgage or any refinance of that loan within six months is ineligible as a limited cash-out refinance and must be treated as a cash-out refinance. It's interesting. So, so the six-month rule is, el is eliminated. Is that what I read? Eliminated as of February of 16. Cash out refinances. For cash out refinance trans transactions, the property must have been purchased or acquired by the borrower at least six months prior to the disbursement date of the new mortgage loan, except for the following. There is no waiting period if the lender documents that the bar borrower acquired the property through an inheritance or was legally awarded the property through a divorce, separation, dissolution of domestic partnership. The delayed financing requirements are met refer to this frequently asked questions for additional information on delayed financing requirements. I think we should just go ahead and do that now. Let's see what they are. Um, okay. This would be making it a delayed financing situation. In other words, um, you purchase and you planned, you planned ahead to do a delayed financing. If the property was owned prior to closing by LLC, that is a majority owned or that is majority owned or controlled by the borrowers, the time it was held by the LLC may be counted towards the meeting the six months borrower, you know, owner uh, ownership requirement. In order to close the refinance transaction, ownership must be transferred out of the LLC and into the name of the individual borrower. Okay, now this is Fannie Mae. If the property was owned prior to closing by an inter vivos re, re, uh, revocable trust, the time held by the trust may be counted towards meeting the borrower's six months ownership requirement if the borrower is the primary beneficiary, beneficiary of the trust. Okay, so if you owned it before in a trust, if you owned it before in an LLC, uh, if you planned this and you did the delay fi delayed financing method or uh, there's no waiting period if the lender documents the borrower acquired the property through inheritance or was legally this is not going to typically be the case in these scenarios that we're discussing because these scenarios are people who are buying investment property and uh, sometimes you buy it with cash or you finance it one way and then you fix it up and then you need to refinance and take some more cash out. In those scenarios, the rule is six months, it appears. Now, of course, you can go outside of Fannie Mae, use other investors, there's other options, but within Fannie Mae, this seems to be six months, seems to be the standard. As always, I'm Josh with Churchill Mortgage. Uh, I would love to, uh, love to learn more about you. Uh, maybe talk to you about uh, maybe you and I could talk about uh, doing some business together uh, maybe maybe you're looking for a great mortgage company to work for I would love to help you grow your business again I'm Josh with Churchill Mortgage and uh, I really need to make that screen bigger so it's legible but you get the idea um, Reach out to me anytime at talktojosh.net or uh, you can also reach me at 828-238-2682. Thank you.